All righty, I'm going to analyze Lazy Bear Lodge at Canada's Wonderland to the fullest extent that I possibly can. I have eaten there quite a bit. It's quite embarrassing to admit, but yes, um, my friend group and I have eaten there as much as one possibly could on the meal plan. Um, we had Saturday and Sunday, two meals each day there, so four meals in total. Um, and honestly, I have nothing but good things to say. Obviously, there's going to be a bit of negativity inserted in here a little bit, but that's about the other restaurants at Canada's Wonderland now. Um, but this is a really good place to be in that we can now focus on the good stuff and uh, kind of talk about what's going to happen now moving forward. So I'm going to show you guys inside Lazy Bear Lodge. So it finally soft opened this past weekend, um, and it truly is stunning. The food, though, is absolutely amazing. So you can choose a main. Um, you have the Impossible Stuffed Peppers, the Salmon, it's fish of the day, uh, but right now we just know that it's salmon, the Quarter Chicken, and the brisket, and I'm probably missing something there. But you have those, and then you pick a side. So you get a jalapeno kind of cornbread, and then the sides are uh, macaroni, which is to die for. It's not your Wonderland macaroni. It's literally amazing. And you have corn on the cob, and you also have uh, potato wedges, which are, I was really nervous about that when I saw potato wedges, I was angry, I'm not gonna lie, but they're good, they're actually good. Um, and I believe that's, oh yeah, baked beans, yes. Um, I wouldn't get that though. Oh, and one of the mains that I missed was the hand-breaded chicken tenders, which I had heard from other people were good. Um, I will say they have focused all, 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 like on every detail. So it runs better than even the Cedar Fair one. So it's the exact same design, by the way, as the farmhouse at Cedar Fair, at Cedar Point. Um, but I will say it is heavily more staffed. Um, they have about 60 staff members on call for this restaurant, so available to use. Um, and it, it shows. And truthfully, it's extremely clean. It's extremely quick service, which is any guest that is watching this video or who has been to Wonderland, that is shocking because you are going to wait. If you see a good like 100, 200 people in line at a restaurant at Wonderland, you're going to wait an hour for your food. At this restaurant, you're going to wait 15 minutes at max, fully loaded queue line um, for your food, if not faster. Um, it's a really great service. They were hand trained by Cedar Fair execs themselves, and it really shows. Um, this is literally Cedar Fair training as to why it's operating so well, not the higher ups in the food department. Um, but nonetheless, um, it, it, the, the staff are amazing here. The uniforms are amazing. The food is really good. Um, it, it's honestly a really well rounded experience. Now, I will say, a few negatives are they only offer ketchup and mustard, so that's different from Cedar Point's farmhouse, where they had a, a selection of sauces that you could put on any of your stuff. Really tired of the mustard and ketchup at Canada's Wonderland. But I will also defend Wonderland. Um, we did see that teenagers were already messing with the ketchup and mustard. So if they had sauces out on the table for people um, to uh, have, that the teenagers that visit Canada's Wonderland would ruin that experience. So I do see that it wouldn't possibly work at Canada's Wonderland um, because of the teenagers. And I'm a little nervous for the basement. Um, there are handcrafted beverages coming to this restaurant. They're not quite ready yet. But I will say we learned that Wonderland makes those little juice packs, those little alcohol packs for Haunt. They're made in-house and packed in-house. I thought they were shipped in. So that was really interesting. I recommend eating in the basement. Um, it's air conditioned down there, whereas it's hot upstairs. So um, it's a little uh, it's a little too hot up there, to be honest. But in winter, during Winterfest, that'll be a blessing. But I don't know if it's going to be too cold up there then. But we'll see. Um, the little t attention to details everywhere is absolutely amazing. The canoes with the lights are flying canoes, which is cute. Um, and the lazy bears that are hidden all over and the raccoons and skunks, absolutely amazing. But just even look at the uh, detail on the tile. The restrooms are the same style as you see right there. It's stunning. Like, when you enter here, we were talking to a couple guests, you don't feel like you're in Wonderland. Wonderland. And that's the best part. The direction that Cedar Fair is taking Wonderland is truly exciting. Like it's very Dollywood vibes. And for those of you that know me, know how obsessed I am with Dollywood and how happy I am to see the direction that Cedar Fair is taking us. Um, hopefully I'm able to get my haunt video out. I've been promising it for a while and I have not been able to record it. Um, 
the, the downfall of having a YouTube channel is no matter what kind of video you make, you're going to upset someone. And the difficult th place I've been in is no matter what I talk about at Wonderland or what I'm going to cover, I'm always going to upset someone. And it's really difficult to balance not wanting to upset people and making content that isn't biased. So that is something I'm definitely trying to get a little better at. Um, but unfortunately, it does lead to upsetting people. Some people deserve it. Some others don't. Um, and haunt is one of those things where I don't want to upset anyone um, for my haunt video. Uh, so I'm trying to be worded in a way that won't. But back to the restaurant. Um, again, uh, truly excited. Uh, I believe there might be some Winterfest entertainment on the patio. I'm really excited to see it in uh, during Winterfest. And oh my goodness, I have nothing but the food is delicious. Like uh, this, I I I don't want to insult anyone, but this isn't the chefs at Canada's Wonderland's menu. This is Kings Island and Cedar Point's menu. They just brought it on over. Um, we were, we visited Kings Island and Cedar Point and this is literally the same menu. So I think the only difference is the impossible stuffed, um, peppers. Um, so kudos to that. And then, I mean, if there is some differences that I'm un unaware of, kudos to the chef team, um, for whatever they've created here at Canada's Wonderland. Cause it is amazing. The macaroni and cheese is better than the Cedar Point macaroni and cheese. So that I, they do deserve that uh, it is way better. We are nervous because, again, Cedar Fair executives were here training, and we don't know if the level of service and the quality of food is going to maintain itself once these Cedar Fair executives are gone. And these executives were whipping people into shape. It was nice to see them getting the area soups to actually work. Um, didn't see a single phone in the entire weekend on an area supervisor, so there was clearly... Um, some rights to my video because from seeing them only on their phones to actually working when the Cedar Fair execs are there uh, speaks volumes. Um, and it was awesome because we saw them coaching them as well and teaching them how to actually run their teams. So uh, again, it was it was truly awesome to see some of the things that really pissed me off with the higher ups of the food department um, being coached by the Cedar Fair execs because they really deserve it. Um, these higher ups. So we're, we're hearing stories. Ever since my video, we've been talking to a lot of people in foods. And I'm telling you right now, no one likes working for these people. Um, and uh, yeah, I've just been encouraging people to talk to HR because some of the stories we've been hearing are truly disgusting. Um, but nonetheless, that is just foods, by the way, that is not Canada's Wonderland. Um, uh I'm excited. I guess some of my, uh, the downfalls. So this restaurant is too good that it will cannibalize the other restaurants and the speed of service at this restaurant mixed in with the amazing food. It, there's no point in using your meal plan at any other restaurant in Canada's Wonderland. Unfortunately, I highly recommend using your meal plan at this restaurant It's both speedy. There's seating. Um, and again, air conditioning in the basement. And the restrooms are single use. So I know a lot of people sometimes really like you just you want that privacy. This is the restaurant to go to. But that is one of the downfalls. Um, we did see teens going into those restaurant uh, those uh, restrooms in large groups. And I'm afraid for vandalism and just other um, acts, you know. So sometimes having those public restrooms prevents some of that. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, there isn't really much Wonderland can do to prevent that. It's going to happen regardless. Um, but again, one of the big things is this restaurant has null and voided the other restaurants in Wonderland. In my opinion, the food is disgusting outside of this restaurant. <laughs> so they're like, we will just be visiting here. There's, there's no point in going anywhere else, unfortunately. And that does not reflect on the supervision team below. Um, so supervisors, team leads below, um, that is not your fault. Uh, uh, the food it is just how it, it is unfortunately and wonder in wonderland's defense the infrastructure at those restaurants it is impossible to increase capacity any further so there's nothing wonderland can really do um but that's the beautiful thing about opening this restaurant is now um you've taken capacity away from those other restaurants and now you may don't necessarily need to have that increase in capacity i think actually one more restaurant like this at wonderland and you've done all you really need to do um, in terms of increasing capacity. So I think one more like $1 million restaurant, because this was about $989,000 according to the permit. Um, one more of these and you fixed a lot of your problems and then just focus on touching up everything. And honestly, Wonderland is stepping in the right direction. 
Um, and I truthfully really hope that the higher ups took what we saw from Cedar Fair teaching them um, and uh, keep to it when they're gone. But I can guarantee you they won't. Um, we'll see them back on their phones. Um, but nonetheless, again, I'm very spiteful because, again, just learning, hearing some things that they've said since my video. Um, I mean, I can play petty, too. <laughs> if you want to be petty, I'll be petty, too. Um, you suck at your job. And everyone that visits Wonderland agrees. So, um, nonetheless, uh, eat here. Eat here. Honestly, you won't wait long. It'll be very good food. I've seen some complaints about the portion sizes online on a Facebook group. Um, as someone who's a bigger person themselves, uh, when I get the mac and cheese with the brisket, I can barely finish the meal. And I'm a bigger person. It looks small because the tray they give it to you on is very large. And yes, the brisket portion can be pretty small. But the side and everything together, it is a meal. I, I can confirm that as a bigger person. It's a meal. Um, and I enjoy it. Uh, honestly, I have nothing bad to say about the food, nothing bad to say about the restaurant, nothing bad to say about the atmosphere. Um, Wonderland really knocked it out of the park. This restaurant's so good, they could open it outside the park, um, and it would do exceptionally well. It, it's better than Montana's. It's better than the keg, in my opinion, um, in terms of total atmosphere. It reminds me kind of like um, a Great Wolf Lodge-style restaurant. It's it's beautiful. Anyways, thanks so much for watching my video. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the new restaurant or the food or anything, comment down below and I'll try and respond to everyone. Have a good one. Bye.